if you are Rh negative, chances are that you can see through the lies of people. And when it comes to dating and finding the right partner, chances are it is extremely obvious how full of lies society in general is. And it is just that it's accepted. It's almost expected for you to lie. Lying is expected in society. And because of that, there is a lot of miscommunication. Because there will come a point in a relationship when it's just you and him or her. And when that is the case, that's when you get to know the other person. And how that's going to play out will largely depend on how much of you is you. You see, you don't have to lie when you get to know somebody. All you have to really do is understand that there are many, 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 many other people in the world and who is right for you. I truly believe that there is more than just, uh, I believe there's synchronicity, intuition, everything plays a role in everything that's really significant. I believe it's about energies. There's so much at play that's not even measurable or advisable, you know? But I can tell you that if, you see, whenever I do something, I ask myself, is this kind of in tune with the, am I going against the energy of nature or God or whoever, you know? Do, am I, what energy am I playing with here? And I am not going against it. I know that uh, there is something to it. You see, I don't know. Um, because if a man can donate blood to the woman, then I've talked about this before. Now, dominance. You see, the recessive actually is the strongest. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, the recessive is the strongest. Do you know that? So I actually think that there is something to the dominance of the blood type that can be donated, if that makes sense. It doesn't, right? Okay, let me keep it lighter. You guys need to do only one thing. And that is to give it a try. See if somebody with your blood type is somebody that you click with. And if in general having, uh, you see, the thing, the good thing that I can tell you is about people who have the same blood type is that when it's not a good match, you know it. And if it is a good match, it's kind of green light right there. And I am pretty sure that if you go against something, it'll never work. But before it will never work, it will also give you a lot of heartache. And enforcing anything is not a good thing. Now, I have to tell you that Whenever there's a situation like right now with a lockdown, and some of you may say, rightfully, this is not a good thing. I don't have anybody in my life. What am I to do? Well, use this as an opportunity to actually find somebody who is maybe unbelievably compatible. Meaning, also, without getting sidetracked, you see, a lot of times people actually kind of get to know somebody that may be extremely compatible, but sometimes the person lives a little bit further away. And something is starting to connect and match. But guess what? When she goes out with her friends, 
on the weekend and there is this guy and she just uh, falls into coolness with him and he's there and the one that she really really is drawn to even from the distance you see it's just not there and maybe he gets sidetracked also you see the sidetracking thing is a big one when you get sidetracked that means that you are well you know again the numbers don't lie 75 percent in the world say that they are really not happy in life they have settled and so what happens is that they just um, go for it or they lose faith you know what I mean sometimes if you have spent most of your life just in misery or in miserable relationships or in relationships that are kind of they're good enough to keep you going with it but then enough is enough you know it's kind of weird like to imagine that actually something good is there and then when it ends it's just like okay familiar territory but often later in life you know it can be 10 years later that the marriage that revolved from what sidetracked evolved from there ends and it ends in the kind of bang that is really a blow to your persona meaning that it shakes you and it shapes you and it lets you know that your persona didn't get you anywhere that it only got you further away from who you are and got you only deeper into the arms of those who expect you to change for them or for everybody now when you feel this kind of disaster you know a lot of people when they get older they realize oh my god what could I have had and they you know you see old people who don't care anymore simply because they spent their whole lives um, playing the persona and they realize in the end they got nothing out of it they came up, came up empty so it's not this courageous kind of I don't care anymore you know like some of you do that and some are good sometimes it works out really really well look at uh, Russell Brand La Russell Bland who's all negative I believe and then he for, for him it worked it sometimes does work and all negative people sort of can you know it can work it can really work that you're just more or less being you but then again then uh, what also comes with it you know but how do you come out of it too that is the thing if you don't know what I'm talking about then check out datebytype.com or resistnegative.net and read up on some things I think that it is really important that we don't assume because when you assume you're done when you assume nothing will happen you're standing in your own way assumption is really the worst all the life advice I don't have to give because I think that it happens when it happens I think you get to it when you get to it and intuition will keep you from suffering look I think that this video is probably one that I better keep short if your blood type is AB you and you are a man I would like to know those of you who are blood type AB who are you in a relationship with who have you been in a relationship with do you know any of the blood types 
see AB is very, very rare. And people with blood type AB, you see the women are an easier match than the men, according to my fair formula. But I would like to know from men who are blood type AB, how has your life been? What has been good for you? What has been not good for you? Are you in a marriage? What was it that made it happen? What makes it good? What could be better? Blood type AB negatives. I want to know from you. I want to know from women. Blood type AB negative. What is it? Who are you in a relation? What kind of relationships were the best that you ever had? Do you think that having blood type uh, AB negative is a disadvantage or an advantage? What is the one thing that you notice in people that you think most people don't notice? And do people okay, of the opposite sex see you for who you really are? All of these things I'm very curious about. I want to know more from you guys how your life has been shaped and what good you have seen come out of it. Where did you go wrong if you went wrong somewhere? Did you not listen to your intuition? You see, those are the things where it's really strange when you have people who are older, they normally talk about, take a chance, just do it, don't be like me. Or they say, play it safe, don't try nothing, just be, you know what I mean? These opposites. Very few people say just, what do you think? Try your way, you know, find your way. I never understood. I think that Irish negative people are really good parents for the most part, because I think we don't forget what it's like to be a kid. You know what I mean? It seems like people go through stages and every stage is so different from the next. People change so completely and drastically. We sort of try to stay the same. We fight for our right to stay who we are, even when society expects us, expects us to change. And I think through the millennia of, through the last millennia, arch negative parents and people have been more or less the same where we don't expect too much. We don't expect too much from children, but we don't let others expect too much from us either. And now things are very, very easy. Now you have date by type that come, you can meet other age negative people. You can meet just people or future partner. And I wanna encourage you guys also to not go in there on there with any expectations ever. Let your arch negative energy flow. Know your home. Okay, this is not a nightclub where you have a bunch of dudes competing over the same girl. While some girls are unable to get attention from anybody. You know what I mean? It's not like that. This is a flow and energy thing. Not a spur of the moment. And, that, and that's kind of the thing that I like about getting to know people online actually, you know? Because actually the words come first. The, uh, the, by the time you meet, if you do, you already know each other very well, if you're honest with each other. So the most important thing I can tell you guys is that ch use the advantage this has because there are a lot of members with every single blood type and if one doesn't work, please keep on going, keep on moving, you know? Keep on moving, don't stop. Don't be fixated, don't try to make something work that isn't supposed to work, okay? That's the old days in a village where, you know, the boy and the girl who are neighbors wind up together for the rest of their lives. Now they have to make it work somehow, right? This attitude is no longer needed. 
you know, there is a, a wanderlust thing happening, but it's not, you know, it, don't get fixated ever because your energy will find the right person. And if your blood type can help you, guide you there, I am very, very happy about that. Please share your story. If you have one, let me know what's going on if you have blood type AB. And I am always interested in arch negative couples and their stories, be it good or be it bad. If it's bad, tell me what went wrong. Don't complain about your ex. Tell me what you think really went wrong. Did you ignore the warning signs in the beginning? Or did something take place? Did either of you make a really bad choice that took the energy of your relationship into a very bad thing? A lot of things can happen. And I think that when people leave, not the types of, you see, I'm not asking you to give me a commercial. Like, oh, but your blood type, da, da, everything. No, no, I don't need it. I, I have reality on my side already. What I'm looking for is real things, reality. Because that's the biggest problem. Again, the miscommunication and the distortion of reality. These unrealistic expectations versus, I mean, it's just terrible. You know what I mean? And people get hurt that way. So what I want... I, I always believe leave a real story and somebody eventually deeply in need of hearing it will come across it and you never know when that takes place you never know you know you never know I mean how I was surprised many times in my life by somebody saying yeah you know what man the video you made years ago when you said this that totally Wow, so there are people actually who have connections to me. Now, of course, the world is more disconnected than ever. You know, now is not really a time to waste your energy. I think it's very good to, and it's still free, by the way, but, you know, I hope we will all survive this and come out well. And whoever falls by the wayside will be, I mean, I don't know people, I can't really verbalize it. But those of you who know, know, who know me, know me, who sense me, sense me. And I thank you guys for watching my videos. Go visit datebytype.com even if you don't sign up. Look through some of the albums, look what some people are writing, some of the pictures and the artwork that some of the members have posted. You know, there are a lot of things that you can do to get, to, to get your voice out, to be heard, to be seen. Not in terms of, I need to get attention doing dressing up like Lady Gaga, which takes no talent, but just, I need my voice, I need me out there. What I sense, what I feel. Send your energy, share your, don't let your own energy combust or destroy you. Let it flow out there. You don't know whose energy it meets and what it can lead to. Yes, I think this video will still be titled AB Negative Blood Type. Because I hope while I get sidetracked, and I like getting sidetracked, that the comment section will, at least half of the comments will be from people who are blood type AB negative. And you can share whatever it is that you think I have missed, whatever you think I have nailed, and whatever you, th you personally have experienced not to be the case and want to warn me not to generalize. I take all of that. I'm happy when it comes. I'm happy when you guys let me know that your mind and your heart 
is paying attention.